Good morning, good afternoon, again, depending on what part of the world you're in. Uh, I'm still in the great city of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Today we'll be coming out of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16. That's Ephesians 6 and 16. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith which, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Now, this is a powerful verse, and it talks about putting on the arm of God. And this is talking about the shield of faith. Your faith in God is your shield, which covers you and protects you. And it says it can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Not some of them, not the most dangerous, but all the flaming arrows of the evil one. So as you go through your day, you have to make sure that you carry a shield of faith with you. Now, the shield is a defensive weapon. And in the uh, when Jesus lived, during the Romans, when the Romans used shields, they had huge shields which they could cover their entire bodies. And they also had them where they could link them. If there were a group of them, they could link them together and it would, they, they could create a, a cover that would cover them and protect them from arrows. People shot arrows at them and threw spears. And, you know, when, when people swung uh, axes and, you know, whatever they swung at them, swords, they could block them with the shield. And that's what your shield is for. God has given you the shield of faith to block all the attacks of the enemy, regardless of how they come. The flaming arrows, which, they, which is a metaphor for all of the attacks that the devil, uh, that Satan will, will bring against you in, in any shape or form, through people uh, that you know, through people that you don't know. You know, through drugs, through alcohol, Satan tries to attack you and attack us in so many ways. And our shield of faith is what protects us. Now, the thing that you have to work on is to make sure that you are building your faith up in God every day. Now, how do we build that faith? We build that faith by acting on things that we are trusting God with. Again, everything comes back to living in God's will. Okay, how do you live in God's will? You read God's word. If God, if, you know, if the word abides in you, then Jesus will abide in you. But you read his word, you get into his will. And, and, and you will see how faith will carry you through any situation that you're involved in. You know, and God will build your faith up. Because you'll start asking God for things, and you'll start coming to him, and then he'll start delivering on things. So God, God doesn't expect you to just trust him and he not come through for you. God will not let you down. God will not let you down. Again, I've said this before, he is not the, uh, the fire alarm that you pull in case of emergency. You got to keep that shield of faith with you at all times. So they can always protect you from the attacks of the enemy. And it can enrich your life. And you can continue to grow. You know, I, I, uh, it's like a small child. You know, when you want a small child to do something they're afraid, that child doesn't act because he thinks that it's going to be okay. He acts because he has faith in you. He trusts that you will do what you tell him to do. If you tell him to jump into a pool and he don't want to jump into the pool, you tell him to jump, that you're going to catch him. He has faith that you're going to catch him. When he jumps and you catch him, that increases your faith. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to step out on faith. He wants us to jump into the water so that he can catch us. And once God catches us, then we know that we can trust him. And then you'll start jumping more. And, you know, we can't sit around. A lot of people like to sit around and say, I'm waiting on God. I'm waiting on God. God doesn't want you to sit around and wait on him unless he tells you to. He may think, you know, there's some things that we got to wait on. But a lot of things, if you need a job, you know, if, if you need a bill paid, if you, you know, you got to step out on faith sometimes. You know, you, if, you, if you need a job, get your resume, send your resumes out, trust God. Don't sit at home tomorrow waiting on God to give me a job. Because God is not going to bless you sitting, there, sitting at home waiting on a job. 
He wants you to step out on faith. He wants you to pray. He wants you to write your resume. He wants you to pray. He wants you to put it in the mail. He wants you to pray, and he wants you to go get your interview so that he can bless you with a job. Because he's going he's gonna to respond to your actions. Because without actions, there's no faith. Without action, there's no faith. If I'm just sitting at home, not doing anything, then where's my faith? That God is going to see me through whatever situation I need to go through or get me through, get me to whatever goal I'm trying to get to. I have to trust God with that. And we got to make sure that we ask for things that, again, are in line with God's will for our lives. You cannot be, you cannot be having faith, uh, you know, for things that are not in line with God's will or not in line with his word. That's why you got to read his word. So you'll know, so you'll know what is in line with God's will and his will for your life. Not your neighbor's uh, life, you know, not your brother and sister's life, your life. Anyway, I'm running out of time, so I thank you. God bless you. Have a great day.